Hey everyone, I'm Trey Amick, a forensic consultant here at Magnet Forensics. Today I'm going to show a quick tip for users wanting to record information off an iOS device using just their Mac. There are times when providing images or a video of what's being displayed on an iPhone or an iPad is vital to your investigation. And one of these use cases may be an investigator wanting to show perhaps frequent location data or health information just because it's pertinent to their case. So with a Mac running OS 1010, which is Yosemite, you can duplicate the iOS screen by using QuickTime Player, which is built into OS 10. So for this procedure to work, you'll need the pin of the iOS device and a lightning cable. When you connect the device to the Mac, you'll be prompted to enter both the pin, then hit trust on the device, which in turn is creating a pairing certificate, or some would call a lockdown file on your machine. You can confirm the lockdown file for this device has been created by navigating to private var db lockdown, which I'm gonna do now. So if I go to go, I'm gonna to go to go to folder, private var db. Now, if we were on a Windows machine and you wanted to check the lockdown folder, you would simply go to program data, Apple, then lockdown. But on Mac, it's private var db. I'm gonna hit go. Now we are in the DB folder, we need to look for lockdown, and as you can see, here it is. However, when I click on it, it says I don't have access, don't have permission. So to fix that, we will right click on the lockdown folder, we will click on get info. In the bottom right hand corner, we will hit the little lock. I will give my Mac my admin password, and then we will change everyone to read write. And as you can see, now that lock has been lifted off the lockdown folder. So from here, now we can see two plists have been created on my Mac. These plists are identified by the unique device identifier from the iOS device or the UDID. So we can see that we have two plists on here. I have my iOS device connected. I have it unlocked. So let's go ahead and go over to QuickTime Player now. I'm going to go to File, New Movie Recording. Because I already have my iPhone connected and unlocked, it's going to pull the screen right up. But in cases where perhaps you try this and you're seeing yourself using uh, the webcam, next to the record button there will be a little arrow and you can select what your input is and you can just change that to your iOS device. So now that we have the iOS device open, we can say let's navigate to the health section because that's what's important in this case. We can get a calendar but today we're gonna to go back to today and here you go we can see how many steps this device has tracked for today now to document this we can either record a video or what I personally like doing is taking screenshots of the device's screen so that I can show that in court when you're doing a video yes it's nice to have that being said if I'm in court and they ask a question I want to be able to go directly to what I'm talking about versus having to scroll back and forth in the video so on a Mac, to take a screenshot, you'll hit Command, Shift, 4. You'll get the crosshairs. Simply hit the space bar and take the picture. And as you can see, you can identify what's on this and save it for court. Just make sure you document in your reporting that you did this procedure. Thanks. Have a great day.